Hey folks, I'm back here with the uh, Fluke 196C fan upgrade and uh, or just replacement. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this now. I found one that's low profile enough to replace this guy. This guy had a little extra aluminum on here for heat sinking possibly, so I went ahead, or maybe not, but I just went ahead anyway and added some copper foil and then some extra little heat sinks I had laying around, because why not? Plenty of room for it. And uh, the copper also doubles as uh, an air ventilation, kind of to make sure the air is still pulled up from below and not from the sides here, because there's a bit of a gap with this particular uh, replacement fan that I had in my parts bin. And uh, what else can I say? It's pretty, pretty standard fare. This is not actually a JST plug. I forget. I don't actually know the name of this connector type. It's a little, little uncommon. I had one in my parts bag, but uh, might have to look at the service manual for that. The service manual is dumped for this, which is super handy. And later on, I do plan on upgrading the nickel metal hydride battery to uh, something a little better, but uh, probably some 18650s. Go ahead and turn this on, and you'll see the fan starts right up, and it's really nice and quiet, unlike the way it was before. Uh, by the way, for those that might not know, if you go to user down here, you can adjust the light and contrast. Most importantly, though, you can go to options here and go to battery save options. Whoops. Go to battery save options and uh, you can do an auto shut off after five minutes instead of 30. <laughs> That's likely to save your battery quite a lot. Um, there's also a battery refresh, which I presume does a full discharge and recharge for the nickel metal hydride. Uh, mine actually failed the refresh. Um, oh, and you can also go to black and white under display settings, uh, which is kind of nice. So uh, anyway, just a couple little options to give you a little more battery life out of this hopefully and uh, prolong the uh, use of it. It does have a cathode ray tube uh, light bulb in here so uh, who knows how long that's gonna last. They, they do last pretty long but it's it's a high voltage light instead of using LEDs. Might be a thing to upgrade and replace at some point. They do actually sell LED replacements for cathode ray tubes. Pretty cool. Uh, what's interesting though is that the fan uh, actually pulls air from the circuit board and then directs it forward, but then there's this, it's actually blocked by the cathode ray tube metal plate. Uh, so I'm a little curious um, how this air filtration system actually works. Uh, the way it's set up here, it actually almost looks like the fan is set up to cool the, the backlight for the display and not actually the circuit board. It's really odd. And I actually did, if you do plug in the original, it's, it's the same setup. Um, the vent is, here, a little plug fell in, and it's it's pulling air upwards and then directing it out. I double checked the service manual, and that is the orientation as well, just in case somebody had tampered with this previously. So it is kind of a weird setup. Uh, not sure how it works, why it's working like that, but uh, we'll we'll give it a shot. You know, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, keep an eye on the temperature. I'm not gonna screw it all back together right away, uh, just to make sure everything's kosher and fine and dandy. And hopefully this video helped you out. Feel free to leave a comment. I, I love hearing from folks. Uh, be very careful with these. These are very expensive. And uh, have fun modding and upgrading things. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out. Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.